So here's a quick little form made with the brand new form wizard in your local theme jack website. So now we'll go and see how to build it. So the first thing to do when you log in because you may not see form and if you don't the first thing you need to do is check themes and there is an update so click on update now when you update you will see whatever awesome wonderful new and exciting features and details that have been updated in local theme jack they will now show up for you so now that we've updated we're going to go to form new form and you can do so many things with these forms it's wonderful so give it a name and I'm going to add a new field and we'll put a custom HTML and we'll add media and it takes you to your library and I'm going to select this goofy logo and over here you can select the size if you want it to be the size the the size that it actually is you select that medium or small so we'll insert this into the post and here it reads full size and click save and there's the logo and now I'm going to move the email to down below the logo we'll add a new field I want to have the person's name field label position to the top if you want to require them to add their title Ms. Mr. or Mrs. you can add that or a middle name and you can choose to have it be required save and I think I want to move email to beneath the name so add a new field most of what I'm doing is going to use the text input the next is to select the address field label position is top now if you want to disable or exclude any of the fields you come over here and click on them and you can make this required and save add a new field and we'll put phone number now you could add two of these one for like home or office phone number and another for cell phone number or you could just put cell phone number and save and let's see how we're doing here okay now let's add another field and we can go let's do single choice put this at the top relative position you can make them vertical or horizontal horizontal uh, required add options add options so it's let's see instead of choice pick the most appropriate or whatever whatever wording you want to use here and we'll click save so they can pick one to four now add a new field say you want to offer a date for an appointment okay, and I'm putting this on the top and you can select say you want to work Monday Tuesday Thursday and Friday that this is required and the minimum date would probably be today's date so maybe put it for there and the maximum date say this is for a free consultation and they get two weeks to make their appointment okay and click save and add a new field multiple choice top okay and you can add multiple options and you can have them vertical or horizontal okay so there's a whole bunch of options so click save so how are we coming along here okay and add a new field survey tool this is wonderful you can set this up for your client and add a star rating to their site top required save 
I will add a text area. Okay, placeholder and save and then come down and I think I want this box above the star rating. Okay, we'll add a new field and top and you can set it however works best for you. And you can add options and name them. Okay, so then when you come over to the drop down you see all of the choices and click save and let's see okay and let's add a new field let's see so I've done all of these now if you've got a really long form you can add a section break and here is the section break Maybe you want to put a break between here's the personal information that you're gathering and then here are all the questions that people are answering about whatever your product or service is. So add a new field and the last one is the button. I don't know about you but more often than I care to recall I've accidentally hit the reset button after I've spent some time filling everything in so you can if you choose hide the reset button and that's what I'm going to do so click on save okay and here's our submit button and we're going to save our form okay and now we'll go to pages add new and then use jack page builder now the columns that you add determine the width of your form and I like things to be a little more compact and I frequently choose the three-fifth one-fifth or two-thirds one-third if you wanted to put a sidebar beside your your form you could do that so maybe I will and we'll add a module and you're going to come to custom forms okay and I now have two custom forms so I'll select the one I just created best if you use a domain email address such as your name at your domain dot com the email is far more likely to be delivered. Give it a subject. Edit your email here. Okay. If you want a VA or someone else to receive the messages, you can enter their email address here. You can use any of these tokens to customize the message. If for some reason the messages are not being delivered, you can use the theme mail server. And on success, you can have a message show up in the top left corner, congratulations, you filled in the form properly, etc. Or you can link them to a thank you page or some other page on your site. So if you link it to a thank you page, you're going to want to have the page already set up that you want to link them to. So I'll select Contact Us. You can also link it to another site altogether. And if you have your autoresponder already set up in your site, you can select your service provider and connect that add margins etc show on all devices and click save and publish and preview changes and I just remembered something I didn't do form wizard go back to forms edit and the thing that I didn't do was select a template color 
The default is what you just saw. It's a white background or the background of whatever the screen is. We can select a different color. So let's try a different color and save. And there it is with the green background. So you can try them all out and see how they feel and which you prefer. And there is the custom form. It took me less than 20 minutes to make it. and It's awesome. I included all of the different features in the form. I just wanted to add another type of form that you may run into. Okay, I have a client that has an extremely long and involved form for adopting animals. So all of this text information was added through the HTML setting. And the first thing I did was I took their copy and I went to my text editor and I just pasted the text here and then added the paragraphs and where things were underlined or made bold. Any of the special effects that, that the client wanted, I added it first in my text editor. And then I took the copy and came back to the form, add a new field, and then click on the custom HTML. And I pasted all of the information here and you see it has the paragraph tags and there were underlines and here's for underline and bold so all of that was added and then I saved it so that's how I added that page and then I've just added I just added new fields to add the additional information and something else that I didn't go over in the text area was common and regular expressions. So you can add a name, phone number, integer number, decimal number, Latin letters and numbers. So if you want somebody to add username and, and you want them to include letters and numbers, you could select this. You could use it for credit card information, zip codes, IP addresses, month, day, or MySQL date format. So you can select any of these for when you are adding a simple text form. And that wraps up this tutorial.